Hello, if you're looking a laptop for 3D modeling, 3D rendering, you are in the right place. Because I have a laptop, a MSI GF65 in. Uh, I'm gonna do some tests with this laptop. It has RTX 3060 GPU, uh, 6 GB of VRAM, 75 watts version. It is the weakest one. It is a mobile version. Also, it, uh, it has RT, uh, i7 uh, 10th generation CPU, 8 cores and 16 threads. Also, I installed another stick. The original laptop uh, had 8 GB of DDR4 RAM. Installed another model, so right now it has 24 GB of VRAM. Uh, right now, I just opened the scene and as you can see, shaders are installing into the scene all statistics you can find here all right, all right. Uh, this laptop is medium budget about 1000 euros and uh, actually i prefer to model architecture scenes also low poly stuff so low poly for low poly modeling this laptop is actually very good and also 3d uh, motion graphics all right so we have also actually this scene is opened and right now in material mode and we're getting about uh, 20 fps if i moving in the scene if we try to go uh, RTS usage about 40%. Also, we can check if our RTX is enabled. All right, we are ready. And right now we have, actually we are in EV mode. Let's try to uh, enable render it mode. And it works pretty good. RAM usage, eight gigabytes of RAM would be enough for this seen if we are modeling in EV render engine let's try to switch to cycles most intense render engine in blender and right now as you can see we're getting about uh, about few fps only uh, rts switch search only six fps um, RAM usage about 8000 so the original stick would be not enough for the scene all right but it takes some time so maybe I won't wait for it but now as you can see uh, i7 usage 100% because device is device option is set it for cpu if we try to enable gpu compute uh, right now we are render rendering with gpu and cpu but actually we can't get a view maybe we need to wait a few minutes so um won't do like that just close all right uh the most the weakest scene actually the the lowest scene let's try to open it and we have geometry nodes scene it was created with geometry nodes it is a tree with leaves so right now we're getting about 20 fps and you can move smoothly usage about rtx about 50 percent all right vertices we have about 1000 vertices so it was medium scene not not low poly but can say that it is low poly uh, not very huge scene and right now if i try to switch to render it mode 
we are now rendering this scene instantly. We're getting all shaders, all colors and shadows in the scene. And uh, text usage goes up to 80%. 80 and RAM usage only 5 GB of RAM. Frame rate also pretty decent, about 40 FPS. So, in conclusion, we can do and we can create the scene with this laptop easily. All right, another scene. Blender 2. It is uh, the famous one. And right now we are in solid mode. We are getting about up to 60 FPS. Uh, RAM usage about 6,000. Uh, 6, uh, RTX usage about 40%. All right, so also we are in cycles mode and GPU compute is enabled. All right, if we go to render it mode, I'm gonna see how it handles with render it mode. It is most intense mode in Blender. You can get a realistic view and render scene uh, instantly. And as you can see, right now we got about uh, 10 gigabytes RAM usage. So with the original one stick, uh, with scene would be not so smooth. All right, RAM usage, if I try to move the port, getting about 60%. And memory about almost top, the top, actually we can say that it is the top of VRAM. It is 6 GB of VRAM we right now using to render the scene in rendered mode. Because the scene is pretty huge, actually it is medium size, 1.5. A million vertices faces 1.5 also but we can we can have the scene but of course we, if we have 8 gigabytes of VRAM it should be better but right now I can say that it is pretty decent and I can uh, render this scene smoothly it is not laggy all right so if you want to create a scene like this this laptop is good for you all right and let's try to open the heaviest one i don't know if it work with this laptop because right now keep in mind that uh obs uh, is capturing this the screen and it it is eating some resources of this laptop and also Messiah of the Burn is enabled so actually I did the scene time ago it is architecture scene of house quartal and it has a lot of grass a lot of trees and objects so it was pretty pretty hard to model the scene with this laptop because uh, I had to bake the scene and reduce low poly, high poly stuff and because uh, RTX 3060 not so good for uh, huge architecture scenes yes if you are modeling a uh, so low poly scene or uh, something like interior architecture scene yes it is good but the exterior scene if you have a lot of grass a lot of trees and other objects in your scene and scene is pretty huge it is not the best best choice for 
jobs like that. As you can see, I cannot, cannot open. If I uh, turn off OBS and actually I'm assigned to one, I can open, but as you can see, it is the scene is reduced actually for this laptop. And if I uh, want to add some some more models and like cars or bikes in the scene, it won't handle. This laptop won't handle uh, scenes like that and you won't be able to do a job for your client and actually if you have time you can reduce uh, your models and make it low poly and try to do scene like to reduce vertices but it takes a lot of time so if you want to model actually architecture uh, exterior scenes with a lot of grass and trees and objects in your scene I won't recommend to use this laptop but if you want to do scenes uh, like medium size uh, interior scenes like 3D uh, motion graphics low poly graphics this laptop is really good but I recommend to install another stick and have 16 GB DDR4 RAM and if your budget allows so you can go up to RTX 3060 or uh, choose actually a desktop version 12 GB of VRAM if you are doing actually for clients but if you are uh, just using this laptop for learning purposes, low poly scenes, medium size scenes and something like uh, cars, bikes you want to model or some equipment, assets, so this laptop is good. So thank you for watching and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. See you next time.